Hello my friends, this video is about the Heklias and dedicated to two of my friends. Some of you might not know, these videos are actually one of my main communication channels to my friends because most of you have decided, for reasons I don't fully understand, to live somewhere else but in awesome Avoca Beach. So we use these videos to show us our toys. This toy here is controlled by an Alienware flight controller, designed and hand soldered by my friend and solar ninja Lance, aka Alien Quartz. I got this flight controller as a gift from him. It's one of the very first prototypes. And one of the principles of friendship is pay it forward. So that's why I take this flight controller, build something awesome with this, and pass the buck. The buck in this case is a drop-in alien module for the alias and the most orange transmitter ever created. And the recipient my friend and artist Jay, the creator of the Micro Motor Warehouse logo, aka the Flying McKnight. This video also serves as tutorial for those who want to copy my build, and at the same time as a blunt advertisement for the freaking awesome flight controller. Despite the fact that we can't make enough of them, and I'll get again these angry messages saying, shut up and take my money. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's begin the show. At first, I remove the pre-installed micro JST connectors and replace them with JST PH connectors, those which are on the alias board as well. Next, I'm printing an adapter board to strap the alien securely into the vessel. I use the original Traxxas under tray, but it needs a little bit of trimming so I can still connect the USB plug whilst everything is put together. What? Still doesn't fit? This is unacceptable. Heklias is not just a name. So, what's left to do with the assembly? Plug the motors in and screw the under tray into the frame. Also, you'll need a special version of the software with inverse yaw direction and changes to the um, receiver settings if you want to use the orange RX transmitter and some adjustments to the PIDs. I have put a link to a customized firmware for this build into the video description. So let's come to the fun part. Jay, I gotta explain you a few things how this setup works. The very first thing you should do after powering the quad and transmitter, pull the left stick to the lower left corner and the right stick to the bottom. That will initialize the gyro. Of all these switches here, only two have an effect. The first one here on the right, arming. Safe is always away from you, so if you pull it towards you, the copter is armed. Pull it towards you and bring the throttle to zero and you can start flying. In my sketch for this build, I have increased the maximum accelerometer inclination angle to 70 degrees and allows a nice and aggressive flying in angle mode without losing too much altitude. Now to switch from easy or stable mode into flip mode or horizon mode, just pull this switch here. You don't have to land for this, I'm just doing it to get a clear shot. Now, if you pull the right stick far enough to one side, it will flip 
and the further you pull it, the quicker it will flip. So you can make all sorts of um, different flips. And if you let go from the sticks, it automatically levels. How frigging cool is that? Makes you look like a super flying hero, even if you're just banging the sticks. Alright Jay, I'm now going to take the guts out of this thing and send them to you together with the most orange transmitter of all times. I hope you like it. See you later.